Uh, for my next announcement, I need a little bit of help from Joshua. If you'd come up and help me with this next announcement. I think there's enough room. Or these signs are taking up room, but I think... They're, they're worried. They think we're going to do a skit. <laughs> we could. <laughs> okay. okay. Let the spirit move. No. Okay. It's probably not the right tone. Probably not the right time. Yeah. Um, so you all probably have noticed in the last couple of years, we've been trying to add space as many places as possible. We've expanded our lobby. We've put as many seats in here as we can. We've put some new flow into our parking lot. We've expanded our nursery. And really, all of those things have only been a band-aid for the really wonderful problem we have here of growth. Yeah. And the leadership has been in discussion for years about uh, growth and our building and what we could do and different things. And I know members, you guys have asked us questions about a third service, different uh, opportunities that we might have as a church to continue to move forward. And we've had a culture of, of growth and innovation and trying different things here at NCC for years and years. And so we're excited this morning to announce starting in the fall, we're going to start a third service on Thursday nights, September 5th, we're going to start. We're excited about that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Amen. Amen. So really, after, after years of research and asking people and also taking note of what other growing churches are doing in our nation, we feel like Thursday night is a great time. And it's not just to relieve the crowding that we have on Sunday. The primary purpose for Thursday night is that we really believe we're going to reach people that we're not reaching on Sundays, is that people are going to be safe, people are going to be walking with Jesus because of the Thursday night opportunities. So we believe this is what, this is what God is leading us to. And when you think about Thursday nights, you might think, okay, why not Saturday nights? We know that was something that has worked well for a long time, especially in the last couple of decades with a lot of growing churches. But when you think about it, there are families who are not available on the weekends, maybe people that are out of town with traveling sports, maybe people that go to a different location on the weekend to a lake house or something like that. And it looks like from the data and the research that Thursday nights are going to be a great time to reach people who are not available on the weekends, as well as you may be thinking in your mind, lots of people who have to work on Sunday morning. So that, just on a practical way, that's why we've thought Thursday night would be the best time to offer this new opportunity. Yeah. Something interesting while we're having discussions as a leadership about what this might look like, and you imagine all the details and everything to go over to think about something like this. I was going through uh, a drawer in my desk office, office d desk in my office, uh, and as some of you do, you like you realize you have way too much paperwork. What can I get rid of? What can I save? And I came across a survey that the leadership did 11 years ago, and it was an anonymous survey. So I don't even know who in the leadership said these comments. It was uh, either a staff member, an elder, or a deacon, and. Um, I'll read three comments on this survey. So this is 11 years ago. They were asked the question, where do you see NCC in five years? Someone said a third service and a discussion about a satellite campus relocation, et cetera, for more evangelism to take place throughout the week on days other than Sunday. Another person said, we'll have outgrown our current facilities. We've done that. And we're looking to plant a new local church or somehow obtain additional space. And then one last person said this, I pray that as a congregation, we don't become stagnant and accept the status quo. I pray we realize growth in Christ is infinite. I just thought that was neat. 11 years ago, we had this vision and now we're really taking a tangible step in that growth process to offer this service uh, in a different way. And I don't know what this, per this last comment meant by growth. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to take growth as a church, but one of those is just responding to the growth that's already happening. Uh, we're not trying to become a, a different church in some way to fit some other mold of another church. Honestly, it's, it's a response to the growth that God has already, already brought to us at NCC. And so as a staff and leadership, we're going, okay, how can we, we not manage this growth? You don't manage God, but how can you best navigate these waters in our culture of a church with the programs we already have? And so this isn't really changing anything. It's, it's actually providing something additional and, and really growing in numbers is one way that we see growth in this church service. Exactly. And then another part of growth is spiritual growth. And when we're thinking about our primary motivation is reaching people that we're not reaching on Sunday. So obviously that first and primary part would be them coming into a relationship with God, them learning how to walk with Jesus. But once again, there's also other benefits to this. The spiritual growth that we are going to have by adding this extra service on Thursday night, this third service, 
and the people who are going to be jumping in. We're going to be looking for people to help with NCC kids, people to help with greeting, people to help with ushers, people to help with safety team. So as a church family who we are now, there's also going to be that aspect of growth that's going to be happening, the spiritual growth in our lives as we take steps forward and where we feel like God is calling us to lead into this. And then also, it may be spiritual growth. We know we definitely get comfortable in the things that we know. So it may be spiritual growth for us to even have a service on Thursday. And that may be what you're thinking. Okay, is this something that God would want us to do? And we as a church, we don't want to, we never want to just go and do what we think is good. We want to look and see what does God want us to do. And so when we look into the New Testament, we look into God's Word, There's no denying that after the resurrection, that Sunday was a very special day for the Christians because Jesus was raised on Sunday, but also because of what we see in places in the New Testament, especially in Acts chapter 2, where they met every day of the week. We feel like in this area, as we understand Scripture, that God has given us freedom to do what would be the best to honor Him and what would reach the most people which we know is at the center of God's heart. And that's where, as we've prayed through the months and years about this, we feel like Thursday night is a good opportunity. So some of you already may be thinking of some of the details, right? What does this look like? Especially if you serve in a ministry somewhere at NCC, you're like, well, what what is Thursday going to throw at us? It seems a little bit different. It is. It's an evening service. It's going to feel different. Uh, But it's still going to be the same sermon. It's still going to be uh, the same welcoming faces at the doors to greet people. It's actually going to still be the same songs, though the songs are going to feel a little bit different. Uh, Jonathan and Garrett have made a commitment to lead in more of an acoustic style. Uh, They'll tone tone down the songs a little bit, have less people up here in the band. Our, Our praise band already does so much on Sunday mornings. We don't want to take away from that. So it's going to feel a little bit different in, in uh, how we sing those songs, but it's going to be the same songs. Um, and maybe, I, get, I guess we're getting to the point where we say, well, what does this look like for you individually? And I want to ask, first of all, to pray. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, our start date for this, September 5th, is about a month and a half away. And there are, there's a, a numerable amount of things to, to plan and think about ahead of time, and even things that we won't be thinking about until the date actually gets here. And so please be praying about all of that. Pray for the new communities that will reach with this service. Uh, Those that are out there, we don't know their names yet, but God does, and we're excited to reach them with this opportunity. So just really be in prayer for this service. Maybe also pray about how you could be involved. Uh, Maybe you do have a, you'd already serve in some area of the church that uh, is going to happen on Thursdays. And so you might think about rearranging your schedule on Thursdays and making a possibility for you to be here. Maybe not every single week, but maybe on a rotational basis, and you communicate that to us, and we're able to get you plugged in some way. We're going to have our full children's programming on Thursday night, so there's just a lot of elements to have people here to to continue those programs with everything we do. And then maybe you're not serving in a ministry anywhere, Mm -hmm. or maybe you serve in a ministry uh, that doesn't necessarily happen on a certain day, and so you're thinking, okay, what what could I do to support an, an additional service happening on Thursdays? Uh, We'd love for you to think about that and contact us and we can help you figure that out as well. Yeah, so as far as being involved and we're calling this opportunity to be involved, we're calling it the launch team. Whether you're with NCC Kids or your greeters, you're part of the Thursday night launch team. So here are the ways to respond. First of all, after service today, uh, our elders, Mike and Rich, two of our elders will be up front here. Jeff and myself, Faith and Jonathan will be in the lobby. So we'll have sign-up sheets. You're like, hey, I want to be on the prayer team or I want to serve in a certain area on Thursday nights. We can go ahead and get you on that list and be in communication with you. The second opportunity is August the 8th, and this will be on the website now. You can probably find it on there now. It's going to be a Q&A session. So we'll have it right here in this room on a Thursday night at 7 o'clock on August the 8th, long before the service starts, just to answer questions about all the details that we haven't covered in this announcement this morning. Any questions you have, I will be happy to answer those at that point. And then third opportunity is August 29th. So it'll be the Thursday night before the service starts, once again, We'll be right here in this room at 7 o'clock, and we'll have a a time of prayer and a time of vision for this service, and we'll really be, it's a prayer rally. We will be celebrating what God is going to do as we move into Thursday night. So those are three opportunities. The information for both of those is on the website so people can sign up so that we know who's coming. And once again, 
We'll have sign-up sheets after service for people who are interested. We know that's a lot of information. Like Joshua said, it's going to be on the website. Uh, we hope to do a podcast about it pretty soon to talk about some of the details. That information session, elders up here, staff in the lobby. So, so feel free to ask questions, start thinking about different things, and we'll continue to communicate uh, and be transparent about the development of this third service on Thursdays. But uh, we're excited about what it means for us as a church. As, as our mission states as a church, we want to reach out and teach all to follow Jesus. And so we really believe that's going to happen a lot in this third service. And so we're excited about it. And we hope you're excited and are ready to step in in some area. So we're going to pray about it Mm -hmm. this morning. You'll start and then I'll finish the prayer. Mm -hmm. And then, um, well, am I praying first? Go ahead. I'm supposed to pray first. Uh, And then we'll get into the sermon for this morning. Let's pray. Dear God, uh, we thank you for the Spirit's movement and this decision. And as we'll talk about the Spirit here, just... God, we feel, uh, feel your presence through the Spirit in this decision for a third service. And uh, we know that this is a step of faith for us as a church. It's a step of faith for us as individuals. Uh, it's a stretch for uh, those that are going to be uh, doing things on Thursday, for those that are going to be um, volunteering. And, and, and just, God, it's, it's different to even think about. And so we pray that as you... Um, help us process this and move forward with this. The plans continue to get ironed out and uh, preparations are made so that we can, uh, we can present you clearly to those that will be here September 5th for the first time. And God, uh, just continue to be with us in those plans and preparation. God, we thank you for how you are directing us. Uh, God, there are times in our lives where we feel like we're not always relying on you, not always following you. And God, sometimes we just we get, uh, we, we start looking to our own, our own ideas, our own rationality. And God, we know that you've, you want us to use those things, but God, many times in our hearts, we just long to be on an adventure with you, to be on a journey with you, to take those difficult steps of faith where we step into the unknown and God, that we're relying on you. And God, I feel like this is one of those steps. It's one of those steps for me personally. I believe it's one of those for our church where together God, we can join together to do something very purposeful that we know is just at the center, God, of your heart. And that we know that it makes, we just, we know it's going to make a very tangible difference for our community in their spiritual lives. So God, we thank you for this opportunity. God, thank you for directing our prayers and directing our discernment to this moment. And we thank you for the opportunity we have to step into this and to step into this together. God, we thank you for the sermon series on the Spirit, and as we're trusting the Spirit's discernment in this decision, God, we're looking forward to learning more about the Spirit and just being open to God, how the Spirit guides our lives. God, be with Jeff as he shares with us a a message about the Holy Spirit today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.